Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Canard Boulevard. Today is a really short video. I'm going to tell you about something that I just learned about this airplane. Coming up. So recently, I posted a Q&A video. I'll put a link to it up here where I answered a whole bunch of questions about this airplane. And in one of those answers, I talked about the rudders and how they yaw the airplane. So what I told you about was these rudders that push outwards like this will cause drag and cause the airplane to yaw. And the question was, could you use both of them at the same time to use the speed brakes? And the answer to that is yes. You can, the rudders actually work independently. You can push on both rudder pedals. Both rudders will move outward and you get an effect of a speed brake because it's creating drag. I then also said that when you push one rudder, it creates drag on one side and causes the airplane to yaw. That is correct, but the, the drag causing the yaw is actually only about 10 or 15% of the total yaw. So yes, when you deploy one rudder, it causes some drag that, that, and some of that drag causes the yaw, but that's not the only force causing the yaw. And thanks to Mark Zeitlin, who is uh, pretty much the god of all things canard, uh, he is a very bright engineer. He has a company called Burnside Consulting where he does uh, inspections and, and basically any work on canard aircraft. And he is a, a font of knowledge. And he contacted me and said, most people think it's just drag, but actually that's not where most of the yawing motion comes from. It's actually lift. So if you think about it, when this rudder moves outwards, it's kind of like a flap. If you took this, this is a wing. It's, it's a symmetrical wing, but it, it is a wing. If you turn this sideways and then push this down, that's a flap. And so when you push this down, this wing starts generating more lift this way. So what happens is when you push the rudder, you get a ton of lift this way. And of course, this vertical stabilizer, because of the swept wing, is back behind the airplane. You can see it actually sticks up farther than the propeller does. So now that we have lift moving this way, it's basically a Mullins arm. It's kind of the same as if we just took a pole, brought it out to here, and then just pulled this way, which of course is going to rotate the airplane or yaw the airplane. That's basically what happens when you actuate one of those rudders. It's pushing this way, which is on a great big moment arm that then rotates the airplane. And that is where most of the yawing motion comes from. All right, that's it for this video. It's really, really hot and humid today. I've been in here working. I just fixed one of my wheel pants. I did some little bit of glass work, painted it up and just remounted those. And I still have some more work to do. Whew, I need to turn the fans back on in here. I can't have them on making a video because it just makes too much noise. So if you like this video, you wanna see more like it, hey, click like, subscribe to the channel and you get notified every time I post one. If you have any comments, questions, anything else, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.